My date showed up with her best friend. They ordered the most expensive food and drinks. I said I had to use the bathroom. I hope daddy's credit card works. People are mad at me for leaving a date who brought her best friend to dinner. Essentially, I had a date plan with one of the girls, and when I arrived, she said her friend was joining us. And when we sat down, they started ordering drinks and appetizers and complimented me the whole time. At this point, I knew this was a scam, and I left. And people are saying that I didn't have a right to leave because those women probably earned triple my wage, and I can't face the embarrassment of not being able to afford cheap drinks. And that poor dudes shouldn't date, just stay at home. I don't know, what do you guys think? So many women think they deserve free dates and they give the most ridiculous reasons why they deserve it. They say, you've got to pay for the date because she has to pay for her makeup, or that she wants to know if you're a provider, or that it proves that you're a gentleman. What was this woman thinking bringing her friend to the date anyway? No honey, you wanted to leech from this guy's wallet, but you can pay for your food. So my roommate and I are both in relationships, right? And the other day we were talking about how if a guy is flirting with you, you like so badly just want to shut him down and tell him you have a boyfriend right away, but you can't do that until he asks you out. So like if a guy is being friendly with you, saying hi, making small talk, whatever, like you can't tell him you have a boyfriend until he pops the question. And it literally happened to me today and the guy was dragging the conversation on for so long. And then he finally asked the question and I was just like, no, I have a boyfriend. So if you're a guy and you want to ask a girl out, but you don't know for sure that she's single, the longer you drag out the small talk, the more you're shooting yourself in the foot. So get to the point. Why doesn't she just mention in small talk something about her boyfriend so the guy knows she has one before he asks her out? She could easily say in the conversation, oh yeah, my boyfriend does that too or whatever the case may be. She probably doesn't do it right away because she loves getting more attention. If a guy has ghosted you, say this. Thank you so much for the invite, but unfortunately your inconsistency and lack of consistent communication is a huge turnoff to me. I wish you the best. I've tried it, I've done it. It gets them real upset, but at the end of the day, you know what it does? It reaffirms to you that you hold the power that you are the one that is making the decisions here. You don't need those fucking breadcrumbs, girl. You do not need that bullshit from somebody who couldn't even fucking stick around. If he is the one who ghosted her, she is not the one who made the decision. He did. He decided not to message her. She got upset about it and told him she did not want to see him again. But he already decided he did not want to see her again when he ghosted her. You see guys, as long as these chicks can create an elaborate fantasy in their own minds that makes them feel good, they are happy to go along with it. She is a hopeless, deluded idiot.